Hey guys, this is Veron from Sleep with the Stars and welcome back to my channel. So today we are playing with the watercolors again and I'm actually painting the April 8, 2020 supermoon. So the start's gonna be a little bit different since I literally just rushed out with a tripod and a lamp and my, f and my phone and my paints to be able to glimpse the moon and maybe paint a basic structure of it. So the next day, I decided to continue the drawing or the painting rather. So, since I already have the base image, like I have the clouds and stuff, I could have left it at this, but I remember it being much darker and much brighter than what I painted, so I'll just be continuing it on my desk. So, it is interesting because they said that the peak of the moon was at 8, at 2.08 a.m. of April 8th, and when I remembered that there was a super moon that day, I it was like 2 a.m. So I literally just grabbed everything and then ran out. So it might have been pretty weird for our neighbors to see someone in their front yard on their car or near their car with a lamp and a tripod constantly looking up at the sky. <laughs> like if anyone was awake, I doubt anyone was awake. I didn't see any lights on or anything. And I didn't hear anyone in that 30 to 40 minutes that I was out there. So pretty sure the neighborhood was asleep. Even my parents were asleep. Usually my mom is awake until around 4 or 5 a.m. But on that particular day, I was all by myself. <laughs> So of course, being slightly more paranoid since we're still currently in the middle of COVID season or COVID, the COVID pandemic, uh, I disinfected literally everything that I went out with. So it was because I, I painted on the car. So I disinfected, the, I disinfected the tripod, the lamp, my phone, my paints, my paper. Uh, probably wasn't necessary since it did drain beforehand, but since the car has been sitting outside the entire day, I really didn't want to take any chances since, you know, I do live with my parents and my grandparents, so I don't, I didn't want to risk any of that from possibly getting into the house. Other than that, the moon was actually pretty cool. It was too bad that it was so cloudy. There were a lot of rain clouds, so you really had to sit out for a little bit to be able to piece together what the moon looks like behind all of the clouds. I mean, I kind of just made up some stuff, sadly, but eh, what can you do? It was rainy. It's actually been raining quite a bit for the past couple of days. I don't know why it's not supposed to be the rainy oh, It is April, so it is supposed to be the rainy season, but it's a little bit weird since it's been so hot and then it suddenly rains in the middle of the day or in the afternoon. Uh, weather. But still, this is fun to paint. I haven't painted with watercolor since my Schminke watercolor painting, which is probably a month or two ago by now. I've hit a little bit of a dry spell again with drawing and painting, but I've been trying to slowly get back into the groove of things. And this is fun. It was very easy and relaxing for me. And it might spark something again. So... Since it's easy and relaxing for me, I might leave you with some music for a little bit. I really don't have much to say except that this was really fun to do. Alright, also, before I actually go, uh, it's currently, again, we're in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. I hope you're still all doing well as of my last video. I hope that you are still safe. And if you are sick, I hope that you are trying your best to, you know, fight it off and recover soon. Yeah, so please keep safe and music. Start off.
So I did try to add a little bit of pink while the moon was wet, but since it wasn't so pinkish when I saw it, it was more yellow. I tried to add a, little, a slight hint of pink on the moon just to indicate it was a pink super moon. And it is really bright, so I wasn't really able to capture that fully when I was doing the painting. So what I'm trying to do now is I'm using my Kuretake Gansai Tambi paints, which are uh, Japanese watercolors, to use the white and create like a white rim around the moon. So these particular watercolors are pretty opaque when you use them on top of like the normal watercolors you use, like with the Sakura Koi's and some other bands. So they're really nice to layer on other paints. They're not as um, thick or as opaque as gouache or acrylics, but they still maintain... They, like, they, they make a good outline. When they dry, they're not as obvious as when they are with wet when they're wet, but they still make a really nice, slightly pearlescent looking outline where you left them. So it was a really nice touch when I needed some highlights to the clouds since it really was a really bright moon so you could really see the formations of the clouds. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was very calm and relaxing. Uh, I hope if you did, consider liking the video or subscribing to my channel. I do similar art here and there. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and even art. And please do keep safe. I'll see you around.